Naginata. In modern Japan, it's a woman's weapon. It's about two, three feet shorter and about half the weight. It's for sport and physical education. This is a pretty long weapon. It's not the longest weapon. We have more, but we don't have time to show. This is Naginata. And the job of Naginata at the end is a curved place. That's sword. All right, the rest is the staff, which can be used as a, as a truncheon for thrusting and whacking somebody. Okay, it's used, it died out around the 14th century or 15th century. Until then, it was used a lot. If you want more details, find us later, I'll tell you. All right, let's start. Remember that short sword is going to go against this thing. They're both bladed weapons. Don't fall off the stage, guys. Remember, there's a slicing sword in the front end. Mm -hmm. And the whole body is the target. Try that after breakfast, huh? This kind of training is not to try to hurt somebody. They're in partnership here, learning how to be the best they can be with the weapon that's in their hands. That's all this is. Training to be the best you can be with that weapon. There's no winners or losers here. You do this kind of training, 